Oh, hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate around the Asrock AM4 BIOS. First of all, you want to get into BIOS by mashing the delete key or the F2 key to get into your UEFI setup. Now you get into this main screen, it will show you what hardware do you actually use. I'm using an AB350 Pro form Asrock motherboard and Ryzen 3 APU with a 12 channel 8GB memory kit. So the first thing you really want to do if you if your build is new and you're using Ryzen APU, you you might wanna change your XMB profile to your advertised speed of your kit. In this case, the advertised speed of my kit was 300 megahertz. So I just load the XMB profile one, and voila, you. It will apply the RAM overclock. And the second, you might you might think you really want more than one gig of VRAM for the Ryzen APU. You really do. Or if you want to game with it. So in the manual, they say you change the the VRAM settings from the North Bridge configuration. But shit, it, it is not there. So where actually is it is on the AMD CBS settings, the NBIO common options, and this you will find this GFX configuration settings. And then integrated graphics control set to force and UMA mode set to UMA specified and frame buffer set says sets to two, two gigs. In this case, I want to use two gigs, but you I don't know if you can if you really can just go up to four gigs or. 8 gigs or even 60 gigs i don't think it's really worth it though so i want to set it to 2 gigs on auto it will set it just 1 gig so that's pretty much it it's the basic if you want to do if it is a, it's a bit more advanced if you want to overclock you know what to do you just change the cpu frequency and voltage to manual in this case i already have mine to 38.25 on 1.35 volt so that's it that should apply on the next one and then if you want to overclock your ABU strike from the bias you just go to the NBIO settings and the XFR settings you enable the XFR settings you go to advanced accept the term and you will greet it with this so input the number value in megahertz so in this case i want it to be one if i five zero and this this is the core voltage it is in vid value just, so you will input the vid value that corresponds to the voltage you want in this case i want it to be one point 15 volts so i will enter 40 now you might think where where do you know this number uh, i'll i will give you in the reddit post in the description it has a table that what numbers that corresponds to what voltage and then i also want to just put my soc voltage to 1.15 volts so i just go to set it to 40 and that's it that's the APU done and then I will want to overclock the RAM to the last the over uh, my RAM my stable RAM overclock was on 3 200 with a CL16 so I'll change it right here 16 18 18 18 36 no that's it and then ram voltage last time i put it on 1.365 that's pretty stable so okay you have all the settings oh uh, there's one last settings i i want to do is just to change the boot option so i'll change the first boot option with 
to Hitachi hard drive I want it to be my secret hard drive in this this SP 1000 X 001 so I just click that and save changes and exit it, the computer will restart and then we We will check if our overclock is applied. Oh, I'm sorry, my camera just broke. So here we back again. Uh, we we are loading Windows now. Uh, I will open the AMD Ryzen Master just to see if our our overclocking did apply. So this does show me a 3825 megahertz with CPU core voltage on 1.35. APU on 1.50 megahertz SOC voltage on 1.15 volts and there is really no options about the GFX voltage it goes one with the SOC voltage because when you try to change the APU the GFX voltage it, it will automatically change the this this part so SOC voltage is the same as the APU GFX voltage should be. Now we know that our overclocking applies. Now let's see if we have our RAM, our VRAM correct. If we have our VRAM correct, we will only have six gigabyte of RAM left. Now we, as you can see, we only have. Six, we can only use six gigabyte of all the eight gigabyte. So that's it. I hope this video helpful. Thanks for watching.